Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and as continuation answering questions from a YouTube subscriber. Here goes for another one. This question is from Mr. Sagar and he said, Hi Nelka, learning a lot from your videos. Could you please explain how to prepare documentation and add false color rendering and layout plan with dimensional detail of luminaires so that the report should similar to the last 4.13? Thanks. Okay. Okay, Sagar, I hope you check my other videos about how to create a false color rendering in um, in Dialux Evo report. But let's do it again. Okay, so for example, I have one room here, and I want to make I want to make sure that it is reflecting in my report. So um, you mentioned about the dimensioning also. Unfortunately, in Dialux Evo, you cannot create a dimensioning default because you need to do it manually, okay? So how to do that is go to the text tab and draw a dimension line. Say for example, here, I will click on the luminaire and to the edge and then click like that. And then uh, you can change the text size into small or normal. If you select normal, it will become so big. So go for the small, yeah, that is all. All, uh, that is fine, I think. And if you want to also change the arrows into something like arrows on inside, yes, you can also do like this. So yes, just go and check this one. And you need to do it for all the rest, like a dimension again here from in between the two, luminaire, for example. And of course, you need to change it again into small and line arrows inside. And if you're so lazy to just do it again and again, you can copy and paste, control C and control V. Yes, you can do that here. And then uh, move it like this, or you can arrange it like that. And you can adjust it here. And there you go. Now you have your dimension. So you have your dimension now. You can uh, fill up the whole area. And also you can do it in your uh, room. Say, for example, you want to label this room and add a dimension yes of course you can also do it yes and when you go to your uh, report yes you can either actually see your false color here when you open your false colors rendering here there you go or go to this uh, results overview and then go to the plan view so just click this one and go to this calculation object and then false color you can do that and you can also add a value chart let's go and calculate again and now you have your false color you can love this effect like this or you can adjust your you can drag your lever here and adjust it accordingly so you can choose the, the color and also you can edit the text of the color say for example for example this cyan right click and then change the value into exactly 20 lux and there you go so you can edit those numbers for example this light green right click and then change the value into exactly 400 lux and there you go and when you go to your documentation of course you can see your dimensions plus your summary similar to the Dialux Evo port point 13. So let's go to the edit. And here you can select the pages that you want to include in your report. I usually select the cover, table of contents, luminary list, sometimes the data sheet, sometimes not. And then of course the summary for every room. So let's go and select this one, the summary of the light scene and double click if you want to double check what's inside. And there you go. Now you have your false color plus your dimension is here. I hope you can see it there. And also the, the, um, the information about your room, the height, the reflection factors, the maintenance factor and everything. And the report here, it says that I did not achieve the perfect uh, uniformity. Okay. And yeah, the fitting is here. So this is this is the two pages that is very important for all the lighting design report, the summary. So you have your lighting layout here, uh, the information about the room and the lux value requirements. 
and also the standard that has been used. That's why I really love the Dialogs Evo report because it's complete and you cannot edit it because it's already there in the standard. Okay, so that's how easy it is. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about the Dialogs Evo, go and check my Udemy course, the Dialogs Evo for beginners and you will learn a lot of things. For now, this is the best seller. So go and check that one. I sometimes give a free coupon. Just go and be my friend in my Facebook account and I sometimes give free coupons to enroll in Udemy courses for free. Okay, cigars, so that's it. And I hope you learned something today. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and check my books and Amazon. So see you again on the next video. Oh, I forgot, Sagar. You need to go to the configure page and turn on this false color because if you turn it off or uncheck it, you cannot see your false color there. See, it's gone. So go to the configure page and turn on the false color. And there you go. See you again on the next video. Bye.